Okay, so what are you going to show me today? Um, how to make a dove fly. Okay, so uh, let's just first go and see how what we're going to make. Okay. Wow, that looks impressive. So dove. Yes. What is it holding? Oh, it's holding a leaf. Okay. What is the first step? So the first step will be to get the dove. Okay. And so let's go. Okay. So first step is to create a sprite, right? So first we need a sprite that can like, um, like flap its wings, you know. Okay. Like this one. Okay. So, okay. But for okay. now, we won't need the cat. So, so yeah, right. you can uh, actually delete it. Yeah, let's delete it. Okay, okay, so first we will need a when flag clicked. Okay, what does that do? So when the, when we click the flag on top, mm -hmm. on the top right screen, okay. the code will start running here. Okay. But I can't see the dog moving. Oh, that's because we haven't given any, anything to make it move or do anything. Oh, I see. So we have to tell them to move etc when the flag is clicked. Yes. Okay, let's tell it. How do so you tell it? So first you go to looks. Okay. So actually here, the DAO is not even moving actually. Okay. It's just, it's the size which is increasing and decreasing. Okay. So, so how we, need to, you... we need to set this uh, in the beginning. The DAO will come from a far distance, right? Okay. So we need the size to be at one percentage, which is its smallest size. Okay, show me. How does so it look? So if we run that, Wow, it became, it became a dot-sized. Okay, wow. It's, it's smaller size is 4. Wow, so you just made the DAO like a dot size. Okay, fine. Now what do you do? Then next, you you need to make a forever loop. Okay. So that, that one is uh, for... But for now, we don't need the forever loop because we have got other things also to do. Okay. So next, we need to make it like so next that's... costume. This block changes its uh, costume. So for uh, let's let's just put it to hundred percentage. Okay. So let's we can at least see. see it. Wow. Here it oh, is. Okay. Okay. Now when we click next costume, it's doing that next costume. Okay. So if we go to the costume section over here, uh -huh. we can see it's both costumes. So this is dub A, dub B. When uh, when when we are doing next costume, it will switch. So, and if we put that next costume, and why do we need room, these two costumes? Oh, that's because uh, we need to make it uh, imitate like it's flapping its wings and flying. What happens if you don't do it? Can you show me? I mean, what happens if you don't flap the wings? What what goes wrong? Okay, so let's set size to one percentage. Then mm -hmm. next, we need to we need to get the. Uh, change size by 10 or 2 or anything. Okay, so, so let's, let's play that. Okay, so that's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's, that's that's, what it that doesn't look, look like, like flying. <laughs> it just looks like a statue. Okay, so um, how do you make it like, yeah, how do you make it move? Uh, that, that's, when, that's when we need forever loop. Okay, so let's do it. So we put the uh, thing in the forever loop. Okay. <laughs> that looks more like appearing from nowhere, right? <laughs> that doesn't look like a bird flying, okay? Okay, now how do we... Okay, this is what you told me about costume. I see. Yeah. Now I understand. So, so now let's add the costume in. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Ooh, <laughs> that looks more like a mechanical, you know? <laughs> Monster. Okay, it's like a hummingbird. Huh? Okay, so for that we need to make it like... Wait or something like that. Okay. So, so you're saying, telling me that the birds actually wait <laughs> while they're flying? Um, they must be taking some rest, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's let's, let's make see. It do it. Oh. Okay. Oh wow, this is too so that is more like you know. I give zero okay, point that one looks, one. That looks more like a bird. I give right? zero point one one. Ooh, it's going to crash onto me. Yeah. Stop that, it. That, that's why. That's why we need to we need to make it stop or else it's going to go like that forever. Okay, so how do I? So we don't want it to just increase by ten. Let's let's just increase it by two or something. Okay, so let's so, see if it doesn't you know like. Now that looks more real. Okay, so that is very slow. Okay. So next we now next we need to make a variable so we can stop it. Okay. So let's go Why to. Why do I need the variable? What happens if I don't use a variable? Mm. 
Like, oh, it, it's going to come and crash onto. Yeah, that is exactly. Okay, so let's let's use the variable to stop it. Yeah. Okay, so first we need to know that there is a, in the variables you can see a make a variable section. Ah, I see. So okay. if we click on that uh -huh. uh, new variable name, we'll we'll give size. Okay, size. I, I can give any name. Yeah, any name. Okay, and it comes over here. Yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. So in the beginning we need the size to be zero. Mm. Or else it's going to be zero forever. Okay. Okay, so first let's set it to zero. Okay. Then change maybe variable mm -hmm. uh, uh, with the uh, amount oh, of size it's I being see. increased. So it has to be the same as that with the change, the way the size I'm increasing. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. So I'm using so, it something like a, like a counter. Right? So if we, if we put it to one, mm -hmm. then the DAO size will increase by um two mm -hmm. while that size will increase by one okay right now we didn't we didn't give a set a, a size to zero okay before we now we have it my variable okay. now now if we do that it's increasing oh, but the bird see. will increase by two this will only increase by one i see so but that, that also has to stop in the next okay. so, so for I... it to stop we need an if then and condition mm -hmm. so let's draw an if then condition from the control mm -hmm. and then we need an operators operator okay. so when size increases then let's say 100 okay. we haven't given anything over here but we uh, if we go to variables mm -hmm. we'll see this small uh, round box yeah. that can be put in this hole okay so you can insert into that hole the variable's name yes okay so you're saying if the size is greater than 100 then okay then what then uh, we can we can send a message okay uh, so we have to go to events okay broadcast okay broadcast any message yeah. so the, for now i'm doing stop okay Oh, I say I can type anything I like. Anything. Okay, so broadcast, so, stop. And then okay. what happens? Run it. Then, it'll just uh, broadcast the message. Nothing else will happen. It'll just increase oh, the Oh, then why, why should I do that? It doesn't have any effect, right? No. Why? We, we, it has an effect. Mm -hmm. Because another code is going to stop it. Okay. So, when I receive, here the name is stop. So, okay. when I receive stop ah, okay. then the, if we go to control yeah. we have this stop all oh what does stop all do it stops the entire code in, in the in the entire project okay show me the size is increasing but, 25 uh, 30 right oh, now size is increasing by one that was increasing by two Oh, that's not very really useful, is it? So we need the uh, the size to increase by two also. Okay. Here now now it's increasing as fast as the DAO is. Okay. So, so the DAO and the variable size are in sync. Okay. Oh wow! It stopped when it got to hundred and two. Okay. Because it's increasing by two, it it won't exactly stop at one hundred. It it's increasing actually. Okay. Okay. So that looks good. Okay, so what next? Is the program over? Yeah, that's Back it. Around. So, oh yeah, the background. That, that one I almost forgot. <laughs> here we can we can no, we can take a background from anywhere here, beach, Malibu, oh. or or you can just paint the background. Okay. Let's just delete this one. Okay, so let's paint a lovely background. Let's take a nice blue color. We'll start from there. Nice sky. Right. Just increase it. Okay, next we need a lovely grass. Lovely grass and all. Let's see. Ah, that looks like grass. There. Okay, amazing. And then we need just the sun. <laughs> So let's go back to code. Okay. Oh, yeah, right now we are in the stage code. In the stage code, there will there will not be any motion block. So let's go back to the drop. Okay. Now. Play. Let's play. Let's see. 
it looks nice. Looks nice. Looks very very good. But we don't, we don't, so we don't want this to continuously keep on uh, telling us. So if we go to uh, variables mm -hmm. and if we just do that. So, okay, good so stuff. If, if we click that, it'll, it'll, it'll let show that. Run. We don't want that. No, that's more like okay. Plate runs last time. Full screen and play. Okay, good stuff. It looks nice. So thank you very much for teaching me how to code a DAO, and we will take up something soon. Yeah. So bye. Bye.